Tell me the, uh, what's going on with this house? This is a house that the lady was getting uh, a lot of moisture condensation in the windows, uh, gaining in the ceiling, all growth on uh, the walls, both uh, up high and down low. So she has ice damming, thermal bypass issues, and a heating system that probably isn't balanced. Hey, am I going to be able to interview? Is she going to be home to interview her for a minute or two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's going to be home to interview. All right. I'll talk to you when I get closer. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Good. You ready? I'm ready to go. Am I going to follow you? Yep. Hey, what's, is this lady sick, do you know, or? Yeah, she is. What's wrong with her? And she has inflammation of the sac around her heart. She had a, a, a flu, a virus in her heart. In the, in the per, per, what do you call that, sac around the heart? Yeah, and she thinks it's house related? She, she wants to make sure it's not house related. Okay. She's not jumping to conclusions, but she has a feeling because of all the mold in the house. All right, so I'll just follow you. We got, what, about a half hour drive? Okay, all right. Um, in the winter time, I have a huge condensation problem. In my three back bedrooms, I get a lot of condensation where the wall meets the ceiling. Um, how long have you lived here? I have lived here since 1996. Okay, and when you bought the house, there was a disclosure, and the disclosure said there was moisture? Or? They said that there was moisture, that um, they said that there was a leak in the roof. And that after um, that they had fixed it, they had addressed it by fixing the roof, and also that they had fixed some drywall also. And that's it. They yes. didn't say that there's water leaking underneath the home or anything no, like that. No, they did not. And and how did you find out that you had a, a, a natural spring in your backyard and high water table after you moved in? Um, when I when I first moved in, there was there was always a, I knew that there was a natural spring going through the back. Mm -hmm. But I didn't understand that there was any kind of issue having a natural spring going in the back. The investigator installed temperature, humidity, and dew point USB computer probes throughout the home. The probes would identify the moisture generator and where the moisture source was coming from. The probe data was downloaded and the results were studied. From the probe data, it was determined that the home's moisture source was coming from below the slab within a ductwork system. The water was running down the east downspout splash block. The driveway had a negative slope and permitted the water to run back towards the west foundation. The water entered the driveway foundation interface crack. The front of the home also had poor grading and water was ponding at the foundation. The back of the home also had water ponding at the foundation and poor exterior water management conditions along with a potentially high water table permitted hydrostatic pressure to push the water under the home slab and into the HVAC ductwork. We located the supply main HVAC trunk plenum duct. This main supply plenum duct traveled through the concrete floor and traveled under the first floor concrete slab. The main plenum duct was connected to six other supply ducts that traveled under the concrete floor to all house rooms. The high water to table along with poor exterior water management permitted water to enter into the home supply ductwork. The ducts were full of mold, bacteria, bio sludge, bio growth, and other pollution. Every time the HVAC system would be turned on, the home was contaminated with airborne biodust, mold spores, and airborne bacteria. Furthermore, the air had high humidity and was permitting mold growth on walls, ceilings, and cabinets. Two of its um, motherboards or whatever mm -hmm. inside there. and uh, Shorted out the computer. Exactly. Humidity. Exactly. Um, high levels of humidity in the house created surface mold in obvious areas like the closets and on shoes and bags, even up in the, uh, in the kitchen cabinets uh, where there no ventilation gets up there, there was surface mold there as well. <coughs> After looking at, at the ducts and, and the rotted plenum, um, I was hoping we could dry the, the basement out or the, sub, uh, the slab out. I was hoping we could dry it out and not have her have to go up to the ceiling and, and flip the furnace around and put the, the heating system through the ceiling. But from the looks of the, and the, the amount of deterioration in that plenum, it doesn't look too promising. Mm -hmm. We use moisture meters to test all walls and ceilings. 
We also tested all the walls and ceilings for surface temperature. We found that the coldest areas in the home had mold, past condensation, and past drywall repairs. The closets, cabinets, and the north side of the home were roughly 5 degrees colder, and when the indoor humidity was high, dew point condensation would occur on cold days. Dew point condensation led to mold and drywall rot. The northeast lower corner was the coldest corner in the home, and it had many repair drywall patch histories. It was obvious that past previous homeowners battled this water, moisture, and condensation problems. The ceiling also had mold on the outer exterior perimeter. These areas were also cold due to wind washing, which is a term used when the attic insulation gets blown and moved away from the ceiling drywall ends, making them colder. Mold grows on these cold surfaces first. Furthermore, the home had attic access panel that was not sealed, insulated, and weather stripped. Moist heated air would rise into the attic, permitting condensation on cold days, resulting in attic sheeting, condensation, and mold. Repairing this home would not be easy. One repair method that may be successful would be filling the under slab ductwork with concrete, changing furnace from a downflow to an upflow, installing all new overhead supply ducts in all rooms, and adding several return ducts. The new ductwork should be sealed and insulated so thermal bridging and thermal bypass or heat loss does not occur. The exterior foundation would need to be waterproofed and on the exterior adding a dewatering sub pump would help lower the groundwater elevation. The home would need proper mold mitigation, entire home sanitizing, repair of all thermal bypass, repair of all thermal bridging, and finally HVAC balancing. These types of repairs are complicated and should only be attempted by building science contractors or consultants. Please rate and subscribe. Please go to www.houseinvestigations.com for great house information.